Day 683, 22 for 22. Good morning. I hope this finds you well. Please stay in your flight and don't quit. So yesterday we talked about the mosaic, uh, your mos mosaic. Now we're going to continue talking about that. This will be part two. Uh, and this one is going to be a build on of, of that one. Now, I said I was going to talk about a kid's movie. The kid's movie is called Inside Out. as joy, anger, disgust, sadness, and I believe there's one else, but there might not be. Um... And it talks about how the how a child's brain works from baby up through uh, up through puberty, and it's a funny movie. It's a Disney movie, I believe. Yeah, it's a Disney movie, and it's a good movie. Um, it shows the islands that we create in our mind for different things: fun, not fun, school, this and that, the other. Now, as an adult, things are gonna gonna work much the same not exactly because it matures um and one thing as an adult that we can be that we aren't always but a kid 90 90 percent of the time is and that's resilient um they can bounce back from the bad stuff it seems to be a bit easier than we do than adults do um it might be because of the level of trauma that they experience is not near what an adult can. And though I'm sure there's children, especially those that have been kidnapped and abused, that, that have that, that level. Um, but as a normal rule, kids are pretty resilient and bounce back pretty pretty good, pretty easy. Um, now, what I'm, where I'm going with this is that when that mosaic is shattered and you're building it back and there's pieces missing and you're no longer whole, you still have those memories of before. But we have a tendency to let the bad stuff overcrowd all those good memories, all those good core memories that we have of our life and where we're at. Now, I don't know what to do about this, but we have you know we can get to a point where we just stop and we don't create any more real memories we just stop and we live in the old ones we live in the bad ones because we can't break free and we have to try to figure out how to get out of those uh get out of that set of memories and build new ones happy ones, ones that can not necessarily override, but cover those bad ones. And we can't do that if we choose to not live life and live in our trauma. And it's, uh, I don't want to say it's a choice. Some people get stuck in that, that eternal, that vicious loop and can't, can't get out. We've got to figure out how to get out of that loop and be able to move forward and be able to, uh, create more and better memories and those of us that are creating the memories and moving forward but still letting those bad the bad trauma cloud their core their old memories and the new memories we need to figure out how to stop doing that to ourselves and that's through therapy that is through medicine if, it, if it's working for you if it's not working for you change it um if you feel yourself getting worse on these meds, it's a sign that it's not working for you. Um, but we have to figure out how to do that because that is going to be key to moving forward is being able to create happier core memories that go along with everything that goes along with the junk. That's what paints your mosaic. And if you can't, if, if it continues to turn black and red and dark purple and brown and a uh, ugly yellow or orange or whatever whatever our bruises turn the colors our bruises turn as as we're healing but don't go away we've got to figure out how to get to that to where we're creating the better memories and i'm starting to repeat so i'm going to stop with that uh but yeah it's it, it, i know it's a kids movie some some of you are probably laughing at it that saying hey he's using the kids movie this whatever idiot um but the thing is, is that the, the, the way that movie works, it is pretty true to, in an in a animated kid sort of way, of how your brain works. And 
we have to figure out how to create those better memories and keep those memories and cover those bad ones with as many good memories and good experiences as we can. And we can't do that if we stay in neutral and just let life hit us and continue to hit us and not hit back and not live our lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get out there and live your life the best you can. And I know it's hard, and I'm not saying it's going to be a tomorrow thing where you're back to normal. No, because otherwise you've already done it. Um, it's going to take work. I'm not going to do push-ups today. I woke up and felt like somebody hit me in the back with a 2 by 4 as hard as they could. Um, hopefully tomorrow feels better. Uh, <laughs> I think I slept wrong. Uh, how do you sleep wrong? still haven't figured that one out. But yet, I know it. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I hope you all have a good day. I share this video on From the Edge to Thriving, my own personal page, and 29 other veterans Facebook groups. A lot more shares have been occurring thanks to you. Uh, thanks to you all. I appreciate it. The more the better. Um, I really hope that you will seek help from friends, family, and professionals because there's not there's no weakness in doing that. It is a sign of strength. Uh, you just got to do what you got to do to be here and make sure that you do it in a positive, positive manner. Bottom line is do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this, and I believe in you. Tough out.